Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long hiatus since my last video. School was hectic. I just had to take some time off, but here I am. I have been waiting for you guys to do this video. I have not used this product, and but I've been seeing so many ads on like Facebook, so many ads on like Instagram, so many ads on all social medias about hair brush dryer combo. So I really am interested to see if it really works. So I'm like, you know what, treat yourself, girl. So I went to Marshall's and I ended up finding one and I was so excited to use it. And honestly, the first thing that popped into my mind was to sit down and do it with you guys. So this is my first time ever trying to use this hair dryer. I've never used it before, no experience. Um, but I know how to use a regular hair dryer. The difference is that this one has a built-in brush. So let me just show you what we're going to be working with today, okay guys? Okay. <sighs> This is the hot airbrush that I found at Marshalls by Gem. I think there was a black one, but I kind of didn't really like the black one. I like this white one that I saw. Now, I'm just hoping that I get my money's worth. It was $34.99. A good penny. Feature designs. One, special hot bristles help dry, smooth, and style hair at the same time. Frizz-free hair. You got me our frizz-free hair. Lightweight, ergonomic design. It is kind of really lightweight. Different setting for high, low, and cool. Detachable inlet grill. Easily help clean. No silver cord. So this baby swivels with you. Tip. The styling results depend upon the thickness and amount of curl in the hair. Thicker and curlier hair will take longer to style and you may need to glide the brush more slowly through the hair. For very tangled hair, you may need to brush through the hair first with a regular hairbrush. So I already placed some product in my hair. I am using It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. This is like hair crack, guys. I love this. My hair just needs extra moisture and extra taking care of since of all the the chemicals that it goes through and then before we start i am going to be using a silk blowout quick drying thermal spray pick this up at target good old target has everything so this is supposed to protect my hair for quick drying so that's what we're going to be doing right now i don't know why it says spray when it's not spray My hair is processed a lot by yours truly. Make sure to check out those videos. So I do my best to protect it. By the way, yes, I just did my roots. I did it a week ago. I'm like literally doing the same things as I've been doing in my other videos. And honestly, I could be doing those updates, but I don't want to keep boring you guys. I do intend to do maybe like a update on like new ways that I figured out easier things that i've done or also like product alternatives anyway let's comb now this product through my hair is all ready um, i am going to be using the hot airbrush tool first so we're going to be working on the right side okay guys I'm not really going to be talking to you guys and explaining anything to you guys because this is my first time. So just enjoy the fast forward video. Be patient and wish me luck. One last final thing. I am going to be timing myself because honestly, literally, that's the only reason why I wanted to try this out. I want to save time when I'm drying my hair. Hey guys, so the stopwatch is at zero. So this blue light indicates that it's already on and good to go. It's an off, so I'm going to be using it on low. Okay, I feel like low is a little too low for my hair. So I am going to switch it up to high, guys, okay? Okay, I must say I have to call it already because it feels dry. 
That is how long it took me to dry this side of my hair. Honestly, I don't even want to try the other side with the regular hair dryer. It dried my hair so easily and it dried my hair. It's like silky smooth. One of the biggest pet peeves is doing this with the freaking hair dryer. The built-in brush in this hair dryer, game changer. Also, I am going to be doing this side with the regular old hairbrush. I'll be doing that off camera. I'll be right back. We're back. So let me show you the time. Okay, the time difference wasn't really much of a difference. So I feel like either one is going to take a but at the same time, here are the things that I did notice about this. So definitely, this is an option if you are interested in drying out your hair for straight hair. So first, let's compare. This side, less frizzy and less poofy. It has volume, but there's a difference between volume and your hair being like frizzy. I think that this one is not as frizzy as the side that I did the regular hair dryer and um, the comb. So definitely if you look at it up close, you can tell that it's poofier. Do you notice the difference? You see right here? Okay, this is what I'm talking about. You see this part right here? Poofy, frizzy, ugly, it looks super damaged. This side, on the other hand, since the heat brush styling tool had that built-in brush in it, it made it way simpler for me to accomplish that nice polished, tamed effect. You see? Okay, now you can see it better. Okay, so that's what I was talking about. I really want to have this look a little bit more like snatched and tamed. So, so far, I really enjoy this hair brush styling tool because sometimes the easiest thing for me would be just to kind of like blow dry my hair straight. So with this styling tool, I, I don't necessarily think that I have to like use another hot appliance. Okay guys, so I am going to be fixing up my hair a little bit. I'm going to be using this styling brush tool because I really don't want to use another heat tool on my hair. I want to use this on this side to finish off my hair, minimize like damage by just doing it all at once okay guys so let's finish doing that So now I'm finished drying my hair. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you guys think? Last step, I do like to put a little bit of oil in it for it to look sleek and shiny. I use Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. This one. I love this oil. It just makes my hair feel so good. Thank you for watching my video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching me play around with my hair. Let me know in the comments what future videos you would like to be interested in. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you already haven't done so. Stay tuned for future videos. Until next time, 